What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and yes, I'm back. I'm actually back home. Feels good to be home. I'll be home for a while. Uh, and next time I have to go on vacation or something. It's probably not until, like, December. But now that I'm home, it also means that the school year starts in a couple of weeks. And I did say the daily videos will really only be for the summer. I'll have extra time. I'm still obviously going to be continuing doing videos, but it will definitely be cut back. I'm not sure how much I'll have to cut it back. Um... I don't know, probably not daily videos, maybe every other day, maybe less, maybe it was to just the most important videos, like top plays of the week, I don't know. But speaking of top plays of the week, last two weeks, um, missed because I was away, and now top plays of the week will return this Friday, so stay tuned for that, make sure you see the other one if you missed that. Um, what else was, did I want to say? Yeah, so the reason there was no videos for like a little less than a week was because I brought my HP Envy on me with On Vacation, thinking it could make videos and it was a mess it did not do a thing i told it to do and i probably should have taken my macbook pro but i thought the hp envy would work but it did not do very well so i'm uh very sorry about that but i'm back with daily videos for probably i'd say a little less than a month more of daily videos maybe maybe less than that i don't know we'll see and then i'll still have videos i'll, I'll make sure you guys are all updated so the rest of this week, I guess I just have more videos, and then uh, Friday's going to be top of this week, so stay tuned, everybody. Um, I was playing a bit of rank recently. I know it's kind of stale, but if you really think about it, it's, it's the most, like, crazy meta we've had, like, forever. It's every deck is being played. All four factions, different types of decks in each faction. It's crazy, and I am personally playing everything myself. I keep switching off between every single deck besides Poison Decay. That's the only deck I've never played in ranked, really. i played, like, everything else right now. And, um, I can't seem to get a good, uh, a good streak going. I am only 1,800 exactly right now. Um, I actually dipped so low, I dipped into the 1,600s. I was in the high 1,600s for, like, a match or two. That was kind of weird. But, um... I got all the way up to 1860, and now I'm down to 1800, so I'll try to do a ranked match today. Um, so I'm playing all sorts of stuff. I've been playing Mono Energy Range, Mono Energy Structures, Aggro Order. I even played some Late Game Order, Aggro Growth, some Growth with Quakes, uh, different kind of Decay stuff. So, um, yeah. Today I'm going to play Mono Energy Range because we I ha don't have that many videos of Mono Energy Range on my channel. And, um, speaking of Mono Range, the last ESL I participated in was the Energy ESL. And I did not do too well in that. I got a buy in the first round. I won in the second round, but then I lost in the quarterfinals 2-3 to three versus La Hopa. So, I knocked him out in the quarterfinals, in the quarterfinals the week before in the Decay tournament, I believe. Or the Order tournament, I'm not sure which one. But that's fair. And, yeah, it was... If you didn't know, in the 2013 All-Stars uh, series, I came in second in the Energy All-Stars to Blinky. This one didn't do as well, but I'm doing pretty well for the entire ESL thing, so I th hopefully I can get the Avatar head, um, because I came in third in the Order one. I actually came in third in the Decay one, and I was top eight for the Energy one. There's, I know there was a... There was a video on my channel for the order one. There won't be a video on my channel for the energy or the um, energy or the K one because I wasn't able to record those. But um, but I will probably have a video for this Sunday's one, which is growth and Stubby's playing growth. Um, I think I should keep the starting hand. Yeah. Not sure what to sacrifice though. Scott Armaton's pretty good with the armor versus growth. I'm definitely going to keep the 2 drop. I can't net it with mashing in my hand. I don't want to sacrifice the spark or the bombard. That is such a tough choice. Hmm. You know what? It's either the scat or the ken net that's going. All the other cards I think are more valuable. We well, knock out on it, but that's going to be played turn 1. I will sacrifice the Scout on something that may backfire. Because I might want that armor against growth and also gun auto. And I'm going second, so the armor may have been more important. We'll see. Maybe I can get a forge out for a better protection. So let's see. Stubby plays of Kempel Ranger. Okay, so. 
kind of wish that was a brave so I could spark it. Burn is a good draw. Burn is a very good draw. I'm going to spark. I'm going to sacrifice the spark now. Played Ganado. Has three health, so. If uh, the Kinfolk Ranger moves down to um, engage me in battle, uh, he'll hopefully survive. I don't know. And he doesn't move down. And he doesn't play a creature on turn three. That's awesome for me. I'll sacrifice the Replicaton here. It's a pretty easy choice considering what the other things I have in my hand. And I will stay where I'm at down there. I'll make sure the Canada isn't behind because Canada is more important. So I have a Machinator and a Bombard in hand. And a Burn. Those are maybe the three best energy scrolls in my hand right now. Um, too bad that guy is not burnable. Well, he's burnable, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll just burn this guy right now. And I'll sacrifice the VD. I'd rather save the burn for something more important because this is not a huge deal right now, but I don't have anything else, man. I don't want to sacrifice scrolls and hope to top deck something. <laughs> yeah, I'll move up. No reason not to, really. It's not like he's ordered with roasted bean potions and stuff, but uh, let's see. He might have a veteran this turn and kill my gun auto, which wouldn't be that bad. I mean, I could just iron with the veteran and it would like die. Okay, a second ranger. It's a worries me a little bit because I already sacrificed about dispersal, and the rangers when they stack together are really strong. Hmm. So, but I think we're good, especially now that we drew that storm. And I do want to keep that on what maybe for a veteran or something, but look at the other scrolls we have, and then, like I said, Mashing the Bombard and Storm Runner. So we kind of have to keep that. And, ooh, Forge is good. Maybe I put a Forge in the middle and just take middle row. Take it for my own. And I think I get the Storm Runner out first, right? Yeah, I think so. And the Storm Runner should be in the middle. I like the Relentless unit kind of near the front too because, or not Relentless, it's Piercing, but Piercing and Relentless, similar ideas. But um, I like them near the front because then they'll do the most damage kind of, you kind of get that. But then again, they're really important, so you want them near the back, so I don't know. But anyways, these two creatures are very strong. It's kind of weird, he's huge. She's like, such a small unit compared to him. He's a lot thicker too. <laughs> Very odd looking unit. Very weird. Look at the feet. She's like, look at her feet. It's like, she's like an elf. Look at those toes. They point straight up. There's a wildling. And that's actually a bit of a problem versus energy because violent dispersals do not destroy it. Does not destroy it. And I have a. Ugh, why'd I have to draw that bombard now? Why? Well, I don't want to sacrifice it. I might have to sacrifice it though because I think of. I think an autumn out of forge. Potion of resistance might be the best play right now. It just might be the best play right now. Um, and I have to keep that machinated. You know, we're going to sacrifice a Bombard. I really hate sacrificing a Bombard, but... I think we're going to have to do that right now because... Yeah. I definitely believe that Forge Pot... Pot, I mean Pour... Is the best play here. And... There we go. And growth has rumbles and stuff, which could be a problem for me. But rumble is such a RNG card. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt me too much. And we could bombard with like a hard smuggler next turn, but probably not worth it to do that. Looks like we're gonna machinate the storm runner maybe, and maybe get a couple kills. Maybe only one kill. I don't know. But yeah, if he's all up there like that, I'm probably not going to do any. Hmm. Who's down there? I don't have thunder surges in this deck. I don't believe. <laughs> Having the storm runner in the middle really, really is a lot of. It's just very, very um. Very menacing to him. And the cannon out of two. Maybe he's just trying to draw me down to kill the rat so he can move up. I do have bombard in hand so I can just move right back up. Um hmm. 
He's probably playing aggro growth, considering there's like a wildling and stuff like that. So, probably don't have to worry too much about about like a uh, quakes or god hands. Okay, that one was source I might need. Um, I can move. See now I wish the forge was here with plus resistance. I can move up, mash it to kill you two. But all that would do is put this Sermoner out and he'll die. Or could try to protect him and they both probably die. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna kill both rats down there. And I wanna get the scout automaton out. I will sacrifice the hired smuggler for resources. And just play the scout automaton. I wanna keep these scrolls in hand. Um, so I'll go like that. Move you here so I can have the damage coming in up top. And a scout in front of you. Protect from a veteran and stuff. And I think that will be our turn. I don't think that's too bad of a turn. And if he uses this opportunity where my storm runner is a little farther away to move down, then I can come back up with a bombard and a machinator if I need to. And the cannon under would attack too. So I do like my position right now. But that can change in a hurry if he gets a nice lucky rumble. So let's see. Let's see what Stubby has in store for us. Mr. Stubby. Hmm. And then if we don't if he doesn't if he doesn't try to engage me, then I won't have to use a bombard match in next turn, so I could probably just sacrifice of resources and bounce dispersal something. Probably one of the rangers. Maybe the wildling, I don't know. If the wildling if he was the wildling. Oh, maybe we'll, Yeah, we'll probably bounce dispersal this. Well now he's not gonna get the buff unless he moves down here. He's not gonna get the buff from these rangers, but they're not gonna pillage. And he's moving down. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this is definitely a bombard machinate turn. Okay, so. But I'm not totally safe. So, bombard machinate does five. Too bad I didn't just like top to get dust runner, that'd be awesome. But what does a bombard machinate do? So, I kill the wildling. Maybe we don't we don't have to machinate it. We can let's see. If I bombard you're gonna die you're gonna take one damage and then two from this guy, so you're gonna I need to machinate to kill you or spark you. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start Probably better to use the machinate than the spark, right? What if I bombard machinate you? No, it doesn't do nearly as much. Yeah, it doesn't. Mm. Actually, no, it does. Bombard machinate it would be. No, I'm gonna bombard machinate you. I'm going to sacrifice the sparks because I want to bounce so that wolf. And let's do it. Ooh, what if I? No, let's go like this. Gun auto. Bombard. Okay. That way. That way we don't have to use a machinated. Okay. That's pretty good, I think. You didn't have to use Mash there. We already sacrificed a Bombard, we just used Bombard. So there's only one more Bombard in the deck. Um, probably could have set that up better. What if the Canada was in back? Would have been... Actually, it would have been a better result for me. Yeah, I should have put the Canada in back. Because then this would have three health right now, which is burnable. And the Canada wouldn't be destroyed by a veteran this turn. So, yeah, the cannon should have been back. Not a huge deal if he doesn't have a veteran this turn, though. Let's see. Sacrifice for resources. Was that 
guy back. I'm probably going to does have a veteran. Oh, down there. Interesting. I just realized he could have almost won there. Okay, so he's rushing. He's rushing that idol. He is rushing that idol. Um, worries me a little bit. Not gonna lie. Uh, I can't sacrifice her scrolls and hope for like a hope for a bombard here. I I have to uh, show you. I'm gonna keep the Oculus scan. I'm gonna sacrifice that. Definitely kill the wolf this turn. Um, I need you to protect. And I guess this is what I'll have to do and hope that this goes down for some protection for the Storm Runner. 50% chance, see? And we get it up there. Oh well. So hopefully it doesn't have a veteran or something. There's only one unit protecting this 4 old idol. That's kind of scary. Okay, we just still have a machinated for that Cannonetta. And we have two more machinations in the deck. Only one more Bombard. I don't have any other cancer reduction besides the iron weapon in the deck. I don't have Furies. Oculus Cannon, I think, will be really nice to have. He's moving up there. Maybe... If he's just going to rally this turn to kill that thing, I'll be very happy if this this whole turn. And he hasn't put on any more threats on the board. That'd be nice. Who's down there? Hmm. Okay. That's the whole turn. I'm not too... It's not that bad. I mean, that's okay. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, Stormrunner, we're keeping that for a second race in the Oculus Cannon. Uh... <laughs> if I machinate you, you have 7 attack, which would do 3 damage to the thing behind it, so I could clear this row. Or... <laughs> Actually, right now, this row is already dying without imaginated, isn't it? Yeah. So that doesn't really do much for me, does it? Let's go ahead and put down units then. I don't need to burn anything either, unless I really have to get rid of this. I don't think it's a big deal this turn. So let's get more units on the board. I'm going to keep the guy with the armor down there. I don't think with two scrolls in hand he's going to be able to win this turn. Okay. So. I wanted to keep the armor guy down here instead of doing one damage to him. He does have a burn this turn anyways if I need to. So. Now I think we're looking good. I'm, I'm almost positive he has rumbles though. So we have to watch out for that. Like a double ragged wolf. Crimson Bowl, Rumble, would be would win the game for him, stuff like that. So we have to make sure we don't let him do any more idle damage, any of the other idols either. And we're actually probably going to be able to win soon. Um, yeah. Especially with that Forge making stuff. Moving down. Don't know if that's good or bad. Ranger. So that means he's not rallying this turn. And Rat King. Okay. So, as we know, I don't think I have uh, Thunder Shishers in my deck, and he's probably like crossing his fingers I don't right now. Because <laughs> if I did, he would be in big trouble. Um, that Rat King could be a big problem if he gets them to survive to go with a Crimson Bolt, but I don't think that's happening. I'm probably going to burn that veteran, let's get like a Bombard. Sacrifice the Oculus Cannon. Okay, so we're going to burn the Veteran and see what we get. Maybe we're just going to have to play the Dust Runner. Two Machining. Wow, it's actually really cool. And what do we want to do here? I think... Keep you towards the middle...
I think we have to go like this. I think we want totally this row completely packed. I'll use the attacking Kenetta as some protection there. Don't love doing that. I think that's okay though. And that was my turn. I'll kill her. So let's see what he can do this turn. I have a I have a storm runner facing all of his units right here. With two machinates in hand. And two cannoners attacking. And I doubt this back cannon is gonna die with his armored unit in front of it. So I think our only uh, the only way he can win now is with a really lucky rumble. We just have to hope that doesn't happen. Okay. It's moving there, so probably the Kenoda is dying. Worst case scenario here probably is he like somehow kills both the Stormrunner and this Kenoda. And this Kenoda should just come down and machinate and do fun stuff. Okay. So I probably want to kill this before it gets before it gets um oak blooded. That's the whole turn, that's pretty good. Let's see. Oculus can easy sacrifice here. Uh, didn't draw that third bomb bard. We're okay though. Now what can you do? You can kill two units if you move up there. We're in a mode where just we just kill units. Yeah. We just kill units. So now you're both dead, you're dead, and this guy's dead here. Um, maybe you back. Uh, should we should kill this wild thing this turn, shouldn't we? How can we do that? I can spark you. Imagine you that that's not worth it. I won't kill the wildling this turn. I will just move you there. Actually, I can kill the wildling this turn if I spark and put a scout automaton. And now you have four attack. And another dust runner. We're, we're really packing our guys down there. We don't want to lose this match. We're going hard and ranked this week. I'm always going hard and ranked when I'm playing ranked, but I mean, I think I have a very good chance at winning the weekly winner. Not for the top three spots in the ladder, but I think I have a very good chance for the most wins of the week in ranked. That'll be the second time I would get that one. I've been playing a lot this week, winning a lot and losing a lot. Hope you guys like uh, me changing up a little bit with uh, mono entry range. I know I've had a lot of videos on my. Ooh, he does have quakes. Ouch. Oh man. Oh boy. Use quakes. He's quick, and quick next turn too. Ooh, let's draw a bombard, please. We're gonna get both machinated because we can win this game really fast. If we can... No bombard, damn it. Uh, okay, he's gonna quick next turn probably, and that'll be really, 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 really bad. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. Um, Yeah, he's gonna quake next turn and absolutely destroy us. I just really didn't think he was with crackers. Almost nobody runs quakes anymore. What is this? Nobody runs quakes. Um, I'll put a cannonetta here. Derp, derp. And I could machinate that to destroy the idol. Might not be a bad idea. Whatever. No quake. No quake. No quake. He definitely has a quake. He definitely has another quake. He wouldn't have quaked if he couldn't quake the turn after. Oh, he's gonna quake. Yep, there's the quake. Okay, that hurts a lot. Oh boy. Let's see what we can do. We're not we're not dead. We're not dead. I want units. Three mashing units. Okay. Um If he has like a triple rag or crimson ball, I lose, but I'm going to go ahead and go like, go like this. I need that bombard. I need that third bombard, and I can win the game really fast with three machines in hand. I need that third bombard. Come on!
Worst case scenario here, he has a. Uh, obviously, he can win the worst case scenario. But, uh. Hopefully, he doesn't have a veteran Ragged Wolf to kill that Camden back there. He's sacrificing for resources. Thing Bear up there. Okay. And Oak Blood. Okay, we can't kill that thing easily. Storm Runner. Um. Let's keep the Storm Runner. I do like those three bombards. No, three machines. Okay, that's pretty good at a forge. So let's get the forge down. Um. Let's put the storm runner here. I want to destroy that. I could destroy that idol. That's, that's good. Um, I think that's going to be good. I have an iron whip in my hands to make the storm runner attack. I, I highly doubt. I highly doubt he's going to be able to. Um, Let's see, a god hand, or would that do? That, would, that, would just, that wouldn't win the game for him. As long as he doesn't win the game, like... Okay. This this thing can't be iron whipped, that's annoying. Can't be iron whipped. Potion of resistance would be good right now. I have two in the deck. It moves down. Can he kill both of these things? This and this. I'm gonna kill this and this and this. Breathe. Up there, okay. So that probably tells me he's not gonna rally this turn. Nice. Okay. And he's one more scroll in hand, he doesn't play it. Okay. Uh what do we do here? Three plus five is eight. I could double machinate you and kill both of these guys. It's not a bad idea. Um double machinate. So that's seven and then eight with that. Okay, let's see. Let's sacrifice. Forces so you need a double machinated iron whip to kill those things if I need to this turn. Okay. Actually, can I win this game this turn if I. No, I can't. It can't be this guy. It can't be iron whipped. So we have to kill this. We have to use up the machinated this turn. He could quake still, which really would hurt. But. I think it is. Crucial we kill this thing. Alright, so, um. Uh, we will keep the protection there and hit the idol a little bit. So, I don't love doing that. Use a lot of scrolls for that. Now it's gonna be harder for us to get a nice win because we need those machines to hit those idols really hard, really fast. But it's okay. And he doesn't attack next turn with a bombard. Ooh, man. He has frost scales and quakes. Stubby, stubby, stubby. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, um. Bombard. You don't attack with a bombard. I wish you did. Replicaton. Hired smuggler bombard. That's a destroyed idol down there. But why would I do that? That would be really weird to do. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice the replicates on. Four scrolls. Burn is good. I'm going to keep you alive this turn. <laughs> I'm going to put a forge down here. going to pump this might as well and I can't leave this I can't leave this row open okay I'll go like that 
goes up there. That's the one spot I didn't want to go to. It's okay. It's okay. Man. I don't fault myself for not predicting he had quakes because really most people that are playing growth don't use quakes anymore. He's preparing for uh, Sunday's ESO. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, I don't even know if I'll run quakes for that. Okay. No more machinated until well, we're redrawing our deck in a second. I'd like to use that bomb bar, the bombard before the deck recycle. Chances are this guy dies. Okay, he's moving down. He's moving down. That makes this guy's survival a little higher, but it makes the chance of me losing this turn a little lower. <laughs> okay, I don't think this would lose. I don't think I'm losing this turn since he just played that racking. Um, another quake would do a lot of damage to me also. Okay, so he's destroying the guy that's attacking. But that means, sorry, that's pretty good. Now I can bombard with you, kill you. Uh, can okay, sounds pretty good. Um, bombard. I can go ahead and kill both of you. I don't think there's a reason to kill everything on this board. I don't think that's a. That's, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna play the gun out instead of the hired smuggler because I. I don't think we're going to be easily hidden idols. I'm going to sacrifice for scrolls. Potion resistance is a good draw there. Very good draw there. So a bombard there. Two damage to an idol there. Make sure I can kill you. And potion resistance this. Just in case. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, that uses a bombard though. So let's see. If he has another quake, he'd probably play it now. Okay, so now I can go double can auto. I have a burn in hand. Um, at least a few quakes as rats would die. I don't know if I'm playing this the best I can play it right now. I don't think I need to put anything behind this forge because it's because the it's potion resistance. But okay, is he gonna destroy this turn? Great wolf. Oh man. Considering he had quakes, he probably has god hands. Um Let's go ahead and sacrifice one can. I need all the weird stuff I can get. Um, let's go ahead and play the cannon auto. I might lose this match right in front there. Okay, let's get a spark burn to destroy that wolf. He doesn't. It's probably going to attack this turn. What did God Hand do to us? God Hand do a lot to us. Man. Ugh. If I played this match six months ago, I, I would have won this. Because <laughs> I would have immediately thought of the quake. <laughs> but now, I don't even remember the last time somebody quaked me. Hmm. Quake's nine cost for him now though, BC double quaked. Quake for him now would be decent. Not amazing though. God hand this turn would be pretty good for him. That's probably what he has. Most likely. Um won't be like end game for me though, God hand. But it would be pretty darn close. I think he's gonna God hand. This deck's just recycling now. Yep, there's the god hand. And that destroys a lot of me stuff. Okay, um. So we're going to at least kill stuff, most of the stuff now. Um, I can machinate you. 
So I can do that. <clears throat> um, Potion resistance I'll keep. Iron whip I don't know if I'll keep. I want more resources. I do want more resources. Let's sacrifice the iron whip for scrolls. See if we can draw. Storm that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to mash in. No, I'll keep the. I'm going to. But what does that do? For, I have to. Yeah, I'll just smash it at you. And I'll play Storm Runner. And give him Potion Resistance. Okay. This Forge is doing work. Getting, getting creatures. I could have Valence Parcel that, but then I wouldn't have the... It would, it would have used costed too many resources that Valence Parcel. I wouldn't have the Storm Runner out this turn. Um, now if I get a Bombard, that'd be good. Didn't get any of the three yet, because I remember I used that last Bombard before the deck recycled, which is important. Um, if it doesn't protect his idols and I draw a Bombard, I probably win. I don't really think he would be thinking of, uh, I don't think he would be thinking of protecting his idols right now. I think he's more in the zone of win the game. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just bounce both of that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and maybe sacrifice our resources with the Dust Runner. I don't know. Maybe we don't want to because he is Quakes. Uh, what do I want to do? Wildling. That's not on list, so it's not a huge deal. Um, <laughs> two bounce bristles. We're going to keep both of those. Sacrifice the Dust Runner for scrolls and get rid of you. I don't want to see you. Um, <laughs> I could let you die. Oh man, this doesn't have potion resistance anymore. Ow. This is pretty rough. Uh. Oof. 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 There's ways he could win with the Crimson Bowl next turn with like a veteran or something. I should probably protect more. Man. You know what? I need to open my Storm Runner right there. Oh well. Storm Runner dies if he uses three things to attack it. But I need to get more protection on that bottom idol. Um, I could still win next turn. So he has like a veteran crimson bowl ragged wolf, and he sacrifices for resources to do all that. Then he would win the game this turn. That would win the game. Okay. I'm um, sorry about that. So, let's see what Stubby can do this turn. Hold on. Okay. Interesting. That was interesting. Um, not really sure about the veterans there. He's a Crimson Bowl right now. I mean, the only difference in the Crimson Bowl would make is more damage to this thing. All right, so he is maybe he's going to destroy that Storm Runner. Okay, he is. So that makes a little bit more sense. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. Look at Ton. Um, I 
Probably burn you. Probably the God Hand. Uh. Um. Yeah, I'll burn you. And I'll move you here. And. you back. Put a hard smuggler there. Okay. I don't think he's gonna win this turn. Actually, he wins with a god hand. <laughs> yeah, he wins with a god hand on that middle idol. I not really much I could do to stop that though. Hmm. Second for the god hand, did he get it? Darn it. I guess I picked a good match to uh, record. Pretty exciting match here. I thought it was easily in my grasp. But those quakes really, I was not expecting them. Leech Journey. Frost Scale. Ouch. Um, I need... The only way I could win now is I'm not gonna be able to protect myself that long. I'm done. Like, if he's able to do stuff much, he be able to do more than me. He has more resources, but um, he has the right draws. He can win like at any given moment. Like he obviously didn't have a god hand there. Uh, now what? I don't know. I do not know what to do here. We're gonna lose this match, I think. Um, I need to sacrifice for scrolls and like. I have to sacrifice the. I'll sacrifice the cannon for scrolls. No bombard, but we got decent stuff. No, we didn't really get decent stuff. Should I get a sponsor's versal sign? No. I have to. Yeah, I have to, um. Put down creatures. Or stuff, at least. Um, let's see. Let's put down. Put an Oculus Cannon right there. And let's put down a. Got on what's on here. Uh, actually. Let's do it like that. Eh. Oh well. well. We still lose if he has a God Hand. My one chance if I can win is if I draw, like. Machinateds and bombards, and he leaves his idols open. Doesn't look like he's doing now. I should probably think about putting some Thunder Searches in this deck. Because I know everybody plays a Rhino, but at some points in the game you can't play a Rhino because you're like backed into a corner or something. So, it would probably be pretty good. Hmm. Definitely losing in rank does not feel as, as worse, as, as bad as it used to feel. Now, kind of, I don't really care as much because I'm not that highly rated because I don't lose as much as I used to. Like, it used to be pretty devastating when you lose in ranked for me. But now, I'm only 1800 right now, so. It won't be that much harder to climb back to 1800. So, well played match by Squiddy. I mean, when am I saying Squiddy? I mean Stubby. I was able to go back to back Quakes well. I think he's gonna win this turn. Or not. Okay, so he's going to.
Probably just assumes I don't have a Thunder Surge anymore. Since I haven't played it yet. Uh, let's see. It's basically as soon as he draws a God Hand, I lose. Unless I can, like, do something really weird. Uh... You know what? It's time to sacrifice for more resources. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Pop you. Put a dust runner here. Okay. So we're surviving turn by turn. But haven't drawn any of the three bombards with half of this deck as recycled, so that's a it's pretty unlucky for me, but Um he would have to a lot of things would have to go our way for us to win this game anyways. Not just a single bombard would help us. I mean help us clear his board, but he has the resource to just put his stuff back on the board. Then that probably gives us a chance to win the game though. So let's get a uh, let's get a bombard. If he doesn't destroy my Oculus Cannon this turn, hopefully he doesn't destroy anything this turn. He's had a lot of he's had a lot of turns with Ragdolls and veterans and stuff, so maybe he doesn't have them this turn. That'd be good. Uh, rally maybe. Hope he doesn't rally this turn. All right, looks like he's not gonna have anything attack this turn, so that gives us a chance to do something. A small chance, but a chance. Um. Burn is whatever. Sacrifice on the scrolls. I want to. I have to keep sacrificing the scrolls, and we don't get a bombard yet. Where are these three bombards? That's what I don't like about uh, range energy. You just oh, you're so reliant on bombard. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be the end of us. He's a lot of stuff attacked. And probably is a crimson bull. Um, I guess I will just burn. Burn you. Uh, and Oculus Cannon down here and hope for the best. I think I'm doing pretty well at delaying my own death. No, this turning into a long video, 50 minutes, wow. Long match of scrolls. 26, around 26. Now... Okay. Well, doesn't really bother me much, I mean... He's not going to win this turn. Okay, these Oculus Guns are both on idols. So if he, for some reason, moves his creatures out of the way, Bombards could be pretty decent. You can't machinate these things, so you got to remember that you cannot machinate them. Machinate it only works on creatures. And let's see. Is he gonna be able to destroy this forge? Is he gonna be able to destroy this Oculus Cannon? We'll have to find out. Is he gonna kill this uh gun on a baton? Let's see what happens in the last ten seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two okay, so he's killing he kills the forge, okay. Um duh, 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 duh. I will sacrifice a cannon meta. Oh my gosh, no bombard. Okay, we have three bombards in the last 16 scrolls in the deck. I can't survive much longer. A bombard, I mean, what, what am I saying? Bombard won't even do much for me right now. I mean, yeah, it would. Actually, it would clear his board almost. But, whatever. Um... So put down the stuff with three health, I guess. Okay, 
clearly wins with a god hand. He indeed wins with a god hand. Just have to put the ride wolf there, and then god hand, and you have five attack there, and five attack there, or five attack and four attack. However you want. So, I mean, this is not like whoever draws their god hand or bombardo first wins. This is when he draws his god hand, he wins. When I draw my bombard, I have a very slim chance of even making an impact in the outcome of the game. Hopefully I didn't miss lethal. I really hope I didn't miss lethal. Maybe he's gonna win this turn, I don't know. Win GG. I'm ready to click enter. God hand wins it. Or not. He's... GG. Hmm. Interesting why I moved up there. But, um. Yeah. So, very well played match by Squiddy. What is he saying? I'm not. I, I suck. <laughs> no. It's just, it just got to lead whatever. Um. So, there we go. How much rage? Only 20. Yeah, see, look. When you're only rated 1800, you don't lose as much as you're when you're rated 1900 and stuff, so that's nice. And I can probably recover from that pretty easily. So, I guess that'll be it. 52 minutes. Wow. Um, hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, and, yeah, keep coming for daily videos, and that'll be it. So, that was a pretty good match. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more content. Like that video if you enjoyed. Keep... Remembering to submit your top plays to me, NerfTheNinja at gmail.com. And that'll be it for today, so keep on scrolling, everybody.